Well, hello. Tonight, uh, I have some pipes to show you. Five are from Ron Smith, and five from Mantra Thwartic. Let's start with Ron. He does very beautiful work. And I'm pulling these out at random, so will they build to a climax of some sort? Look, that's really, really lovely. I love the lines, and I love the grain. So, the first from Ron Smith. Next, a brandy glass is what I would call that shape. Who's next? Let's see. Oh, yes. You're thinking it po can't possibly be that color. Well, it is. What amazing grain it has. Ron knows how to color block a briar. He's roughed the top here. The rest of this, gosh, I'd almost call it a pecan stain. A beautiful sort of butterscotch, pastille stem. Pipe number three. Oh, yes. He does see it. You can't see it's happening off camera, but he does see it. And this is a dark greenish in places and light greenish in others. And on the top, that lovely brown. Almost, uh, I'd call it a walnut stain on the top. He's put a lovely curve on that, too. We have more. Two, I think, from Ron. Yep. Here's the fourth pipe of the evening. That lovely freehand conical shaped bow. And he's roughed the top. Really beautiful. He does rainbow cuts so that the grain runs this way. And I uh, really admire that. That's my favorite. I used to be a fan of the straight grain. The grain runs this way. And if I see a beautiful example of that, it's a beautiful example of that. But I suppose my tastes have changed. Now, I'm going to tell you it doesn't really matter which way the grain runs in a pipe, so long as it's present. The grain in the wood is the pore structure, and the more pores you got, the less heat you eat. Lastly, from Ron, this little beauty. Oh, yeah. Now you're saying, once again, it can't possibly be that color. Those colors. 
and yet it is there's a pale green and a slightly greenish white and that dividing line almost of a tea color the texture of this pipe is a very fine pebble like texture and uh, there's the stem a beautiful saddle bit I love a saddle bit it rides so easily good for what they call the clinch these days I suppose uh, terminology changes I don't know why it would well now some pipes once again in random order from Monfred Hortig. This little fellow this little guy is a whale of a pipe. Look at that shape. That's just crazy. It's got a nice, nice little chamber in there. Once again, you know, Ron's pipes are a standard American arrangement, non-filter. Monfred being German, you know, does the nine millimeter thing. I don't know, some might call that a reverse calabash. I think they'd be mistaken. Nevertheless, that is just slick, just slick. Now we've got four more, and then, uh, then we won't. Huh. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, wait. At any point, I could have said, oh my goodness, yes, to any of these pipes. But look at the house. All of the colors involved there. It looks like a Tiffany lamp. I was showing it off earlier today gentleman said it looked like an alien egg from the movie series of the same name. I don't think it looks like an alien egg because I don't want to imagine something that dreadful. It's a Tiffany lamp. Just gorgeous. Is there uh, dimples? Dimples that he's put in the briar himself. And then colored. Such an artist he is. Well, there's more. Sorry. <laughs> How are you this evening? I hope you're well. This evening, it's almost this morning. My goodness. My goodness. Look at that. Let's uh, plateau through there. Design looks. Positively draconian. 
I think it's from Dragon Werehold or someplace. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And look at that. Do you call that a saddle bit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you could. That's, that part's not traditional saddle bit, that little indentation there. Nine millimeter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And of course the stem is made to match the contours of the pipe, including this bit here. Yeah, you can see it. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. We had a wonderful day today at work. Did quite well. Everyone was friendly. I didn't yell at anyone. There's those days. Okay, well, I never really yell. Oh my. It's uh, very vegetal, this design, plant like. This uh, particular joint where the stem comes in. It's really delightful. It turns, pulls out. It's flat on the sides. Can you see? Yes. You can see. Flat on the sides. And it just goes right back in. Gosh. Gosh. I, th I think it must have belonged to the King of the Elves or something. It is designed to sit up. So many of his are. Here's his card. And, uh, he's on Facebook, Manfred Hortig. Ron Smith is on Facebook, too. So if you have Facebook, you can look him up there. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. So would we. The best way to do that is just drop by the shop. Last pipe of the evening. Oh. It's a ginkgo by Lopa leaf. I'm, I'm gobsmacked, gobsmacked. As a matter of fact, it's two ginkgo leaves. And the bowl between them. My goodness. Of course, it's got the little stems from the leaves. It rests easily like this. So you don't get uh, 
table on your stem. <laughs> And that uh, is it for the pipes I chose to show you. Now we're only 15 minutes in. Should I tell you a story? I don't think I have a story short enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, wish all of you a very fond good night. It is quite late, and uh, every one of us ought to be in bed. Good night. <laughs>